Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. So today I will share with you chapter 10 special probability distribution with 10.3 normal distribution. After this lesson you should be able to identify the normal distribution. Use the formula to standardize the normal random variable z. Distribute normal with mean 0, standard deviation 1. Find the mean and variance of normal distribution problems. And the last one, use the normal distribution table to solve related problems. First, identify the normal distribution. A continuous random variable x has the normal probability distribution with parameter mu and sigma square is called a normal random variable and denoted by x distribute normal with mean mu and variance sigma square. This is the formula to find the probability for normal distribution. fx equal to 1 over square root 2 pi square sigma times e power of negative times x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared where x is real number, mu also real number but sigma is always positive. Mu is represent mean, sigma is represent standard deviation, sigma square represent variance. Look for this diagram. This is a normal distribution shape. The shape like a bell, so we call bell shape for normal distribution. Sigma represent the curve of the bell shape and the symmetrical line represent with mu. Many things closely follow a normal distribution, like height of people, size of things produced by machines, Errors in measurements, blood pressure, or marks on a test. A normal distribution possesses the following three properties. First, the total area under the bell-shaped curve is 1, like this. The probability represents the area under the bell-shaped curve, where the value is 100%. Or equal to 1. The second, the curve is symmetric about the mean. The bell shape is symmetric. So the middle line for this bell shape is mean. And the area uh, above mean is 50% or 0.5, the below mean also 50% or 0.5. The bell shape is symmetry and the line, this line represent mean or mode or median. This one is equal to mean. The third one, the two tails of the curve extend indefinitely. Each of the two directions is very close to zero. There are family of normal distribution curve. Each different set of values of mu and sigma gives a different normal curve. Look the diagram. This bell shape is mean sigma, uh, sigma is 5, mean is 50. This one also bell shape with mean 50 but sigma is 10. This one mean 50, sigma 16. So can you imagine how many group of family of normal dis distribution? with different mean and different sigma. 
So how to uh, calculate the how to calculate the probability uh, using the formula? It's not easy. So to make it easy, we can standardize the normal distribution to the standard normal distribution where a normal distribution uh, with a variable x with mean is mu and variance is sigma square change to standard normal distribution where the variable is z with mean 0 and variance is 1. How to standard the normal distribution? Okay, we can standard a normal distribution to the stand. Uh, we can standardize a normal distribution to the standard normal distribution by using a formula. The formula is uh, x minus mu over sigma, where z is the z score or standard score. X is the value of uh, value to be standardized. Mu is the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. Okay, look for the first example. This one exercise eighteen. Let X be a continuous random variable that has a normal distribution with a mean of fifty and a standard deviation of ten. Convert the following x value to z values. If the given normal distribution, mu is 50 and sigma is 10. So how to change x into z score? We use the formula x minus mu over sigma. So x is 50 minus mean is 50. Uh, 50, uh, x is 55 minus mean is 50 and standard deviation is 10 we, we get uh, this one is uh, changed to z this one is value of z so z equal to 0 0.5 like this okay, this one bell shape 0 0.5 here 0.5 okay b change x into z score so x minus mean over standard deviation we have z is negative 1.5 so 1.5 here Negative 1.5. Okay, next example, exercise 9. Let x be a continuous random variable that has a normal distribution with mean is 25 and standard deviation of 4. Find the area. Area means probability. If the given normal distribution, if the given normal distribution is mu 25 and sigma x. So we have x distribute a normal with mean 25. Uh, standard deviation is 4 means variance is 16. Okay, change uh, x. Between x between 25 and x uh, 32, so this one probability x greater than 25 less than 32. So by using the formula, so 25 minus 25 over 4, uh, 32 minus 35 over 4. So we have probability z, okay, this one is equal to z. This one becomes 0, this one becomes 1.75. So the area is between 0 and 1.75.
that's 1.75. So the area under the curve. Okay, B, the probability between 25 and 32. So this one is 18, 18 and 32. So we use the formula. We get negative 1.75 to 2.25. So, this one, uh, negative 1, 1, 2.25 here. So, the total area is here. Okay. Next objective is how to use the normal distribution table to solve related problems. First, look this table. Okay, this is table for standard normal division. So we have this area is Z score. Okay, this area is Z score. This area also Z score. And this area is a value of probability or area under the curve below uh, above 0 and uh, 0 to 0 0.09 so area for standard normal distribution begin with z greater than or equal to 0 and the value is 0 0.5 Okay, this one is the diagram. Okay, maksudnya dekat sini, uh, total area uh, below uh, 0, above 0 is 0 0.5. Dan, dia adalah simetri. So, bila dia simetri, maksudnya kawasan yang tidak berlori ini adalah Z less than or equal to 0, also 0 0.5. So that, if we have uh, this area, okay, this one is Z greater than 1. This one is Z less than or equal to negative 1. Since this bell shape is symmetry, maksudnya, kawasan ni adalah sama besar. So, untuk menggunakan tables of standard uh, normal distribution ni, kita perlu menggunakan kawasan yang lebih besar. Ingat ya, untuk menggunakan standard normal di, di, uh, distribution, kita perlulah menggunakan simbol greater than or equal to. Or, ataupun, uh, this one is continuous uh, random variable. So, kita tak kisah kalau kita guna equal ataupun not equal sign. Yang penting adalah, dia adalah kawasan yang lebih besar. Mesti menggunakan kawasan yang lebih besar. Okay, so saya ulang sekali lagi. Ini adalah symmetrical curve. So, nilai di sebelah kanan uh, sama dengan nilai di sebelah kiri. Uh, tetapi, bila kita nak menggunakan table, kita perlulah menukarkan uh, kawasan yang lebih kecil daripada simbol lebih kecil less than equal to kepada greater than or equal to. Dan kalau perhatikan dekat sini, nilai dalam table uh, standard of uh, normal distribution, okay, nilai paling tinggi dia adalah 0.5. Dan kalau perhatikan, uh, lagi dia bergerak ke kanan, nilai dia makin kecil. Okay, kalau dia bergerak ke bawah, di sini nilai dia makin kecil dan makin kecil. Okay, in general, if we have uh, probability Z greater than Z0, this one is Z0, this one is less than or equal to negative Z0. 
So, the value is uh, equivalent. And the area is equivalent. So, Z less than or equal to negative Z0 equal to probability of Z greater, greater than or equal to Z0. For example, if we have Z less than or equal to negative 1.25, Kita boleh tukarkan dia kepada probability Z greater than or equal to 1.25. Okay, remember this formula. Okay, uh, macam mana kita boleh dapat 0.1056? Kita lihat pada table. Kita cari 1.2, 1.2, 1.2. And then kita cari 0.05, 0.05. So kita tarik ke tepi sini. Okay, satu point dua dan tambah 0.05. So kita dapat nilai dia adalah 0.1. 0.1056 Okay, next Find the area under the standard normal curve between Z equal to 0 and Z equal to 1.95 Okay, lukis bell shape Dan kita tandakan kawasan dia, lorikkan kawasan antara 0 hingga 1.95. Okey, ini adalah kawasan yang kita perlu cari. Okey, tetap uh, kita boleh menggunakan formula KZ greater than 0 less than 1.95. So Kita tahu area di kawasan ini adalah paling maksimum adalah 0.5 di sebelah kanan dan kita tolakkan pada kawasan yang tidak berlori ini. Okay, kawasan yang tidak berlori ini adalah Z greater than 1.95. Okay, so refer the table. Refer the table. The table. Find 1.95. Okay, 1.9 plus 0.05. So, we have the value is 0 0.0256. And then, we have the probability or uh, the area under this curve is 0 0.4774. Okay, from example 19, 19A, okay, probability X greater than 25 less than 32, okay, kita dah cari tadi bahawa nilai dia, Z dia adalah antara 0 hingga 1.75, okay, like this. So, to find this area, we have to subtract. Uh, from 0 0.5 okay, Kita kena tolak 0 0.5 maksudnya The total area on the uh, Right side okay, Kita tolak dengan kawasan yang Tidak berlorik ni okay, Kawasan ni adalah Probability Z greater than 1.75 1.75 okay, Refer the table Find a 1.75. A 1.7 plus 0 0.05. So we have 0 0.0401. And the total area for uh, the total for this area is 0 0.4599. Next, this one from example 19B. Okay, kita dah convert tadi. This one actually 18. Eh? 18. So, we have, uh, we change X into Z score. 
So we have z is negative 1.75 to 2.25. You draw the bell-shaped curve and then uh, shape the region between negative 1.75 to 2.25. So this area. So how to find this area? Okay, we know that the total area for uh, under this bell shape is equal to 1. So 1. Okay, total area is 1 minus uh, this area. This one is uh, probability Z greater than 2.25. Okay, this area is probability Z greater than, sorry, less than. This area is less than negative 1.75. Okay, tetapi tadi kita dah bincang bahawa uh, Z grade, uh, less than negative 1.75 This value, this area is equivalent to Z greater than 1.75 So kita bila nak baca table, mesti menukarkan uh, simbol less than kepada simbol greater than So kita tahu dia adalah Uh, equivalent area sebab dia adalah symmetrical curve so kita tukarkan kepada uh, Z greater than 1.75 ok, refer the table find 1.75 1.7 plus 1.0.05 uh, we have 0.4 0.0401 Find uh, 2.25, okay, 2.2 plus 0.05, so we have 0.0122. And the total area is 0.9477. Okay, next example at Uh, exercise 16, if Z is distribute normal with mean 0, uh, standard deviation is 1, find probability Z greater than 1.2. Okay, shade the region 1.2, here 1.2, greater than. So, greater than is di atas 1.2 lah, greater than. And this one already greater than. Jadi kita boleh guna table. Okay, find 1.2. This one 1.2. Uh, 1.2 is 1.20. So the area is 0.1151. B. We have a uh, find the probability Z between negative 2.0. Less uh, greater than negative 2.0, less than 2.0, like this. Okay, lukis bell shape dan tandakan di mana Z. Okay, ini adalah nilai Z. Okay, shape the region, like this. And how to find this area? So, we know that the total area under this curve is equal to 1. So, we can subtract. Okay, 1, the total area is 1. Okay, the total area is 1. And then, kita boleh tolak kawasan ini adalah uh, probability Z greater than 2.0. This area is probability Z less than negative 2.0. And we know that this one is equivalent to probability Z greater than 
Okey, ingat ya untuk menuka, uh, untuk baca nilai dalam table kita perlu menukarkan simbol less than kepada greater than. So kita ada dua kawasan yang sama probability z greater than uh, probability z greater than 2.0 on the right side this one sama. So kita ada dua kali probability z greater than 2.0. Okay, find the value. 2.00 so 0.0228 times 2 so we have the total area is 0.9545 C find the probability Z greater than negative uh, 1.2 less than uh, 1.0 Okay, draw the bell shape. Okay, tandakan ya, eh, di mana negatif 1.2 and 1. So, dekat sini kita ada different uh, area. Okay, nampak dekat sini. So, untuk dapatkan uh, kawasan yang berlorik ni, kita perlu buang kawasan yang tidak berlorik ni. So, kawasan ini adalah probability Z uh, greater than 1.0. Okay, kawasan ini adalah probability Z less than negative 1.2. Dan kita tahu yang ini adalah sama dengan probability Z greater than 1.2. Okay, kita tukarkan kepada uh, less than kepada greater than 1.2 less than negative number greater than positive number so find the value from the table 1.2 1.2 is 0.1151 1.0 is 0.1587 And we have the total area is 0.7262. Okay, next example. We have Z distribute normal 0.1. Find A if. Okay, yang ini adalah reverse process. Okay, A adalah nilai dalam Uh, A, uh, A ni adalah Z score Ok, Z score How to find A Ok, uh, first 17A Probability given that probability Z less than A Equal to 0.9 okay, Kita lukis dulu bell shape okay, Kita lihat uh, Less than Dia kata Z adalah less than A So, less than A. Ada dua kemungkinan. A awak. Yang pertama, A di sini. Less than. This one is area of less than A. First, scenario. Second, this one also less than A. Which one? Yang besar ke yang kecil? Okay, yang mana kita nak pilih? Kita tengok nilai probability. This one mention 0.9. 0.9 is greater than 0.5. So, bila dia greater than 0.5, of course, kawasan dia adalah yang ini. Bermaksud A kita adalah positif integer. Okay. Tetapi, boleh tak kita terus baca table? Uh, tak boleh ya sebab ini adalah kawasan less than. Jadi macam mana kita nak dapatkan kawasan yang berlorik ni? Macam mana kita nak dapat kawasan berlorik ni? Okay, kita akan ambil the total area 1 minus probability. Kawasan ni adalah probability Z greater than A. Okay, substitute less than A is 0.9 equal to 1 minus probability Z greater than A. So, susun. 
kada probability z greater than 0 0.1. So, from table, okay, yang ini adalah nilai probability. Okay, dan nilai ni adalah berada dalam kawasan ni. So, kita kena cari 0.1. So, kena cari yang mana paling hampir dengan 0.1. Okey, di sini ada 0.1, 0.03. Jadi, kita akan ambil uh, ini sebagai 0.1. Okey, jadi A dia apa? A dia adalah kita tengok, kita lihat apakah nilai di sini. Ha, nilai di sini adalah 1.2. Nilai di atas adalah 0.1. 0.8 jadi 1.2 tambah 0.08 bermaksud A awak adalah 1.28 ok from the table we have A is 1.28 A ni apa? A ni adalah Z score Okay, next example, 17B, find the, pro, uh, find the A if probability Z greater than A is 0 0.25. Okay, look at the symbol, greater than A. Okay, maybe greater than A, like this, greater than A, or like this, greater than A, greater than A. So, which one? Kita refer pada soalan dimension 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is less than 0 0.5. So, yang sesuai dengan nilai dia adalah graf yang pertama iaitu 0.25. Okey, so macam mana kita nak dapatkan nilai A? This one already greater than. Uh, already greater than. So, kita boleh terus baca table. Okay, this value is probability. So, awak kena cari dalam kawasan ni adalah 0.25. So, kita cari which one 0.2. 0.2, 0.2. So, kita dapat dekat sini 0.2. Kawasan ni adalah 0.2. Kita cari yang paling hampir dengan dia 0.25. Okay, ini ya. 0.214. Paling hampir dengan 0.25. Jadi, apakah nilai Z dia? Okay, nilai Z dia adalah 0.6 dengan 0.07. So, Z dia adalah 0.6 tambah 0.07. So, kita dapat 0.67. Jadi, A awak adalah 0.67. Okay, next uh, objective is find the mean and variance of normal distribution. Okay, exercise 2.1. The random variable x has a normal distribution with mean, mu and variance 0. Point, uh, sorry, sigma square. Given that probability x less than 16.104 is 0. 0.0301, and probability greater than 25.512 is 0 0.3594. Find mu and sigma. Okay, let we have x distribute normal. Okay, we don't know the value of mean and variance. So, kita tulis dulu seperti ini. Dan kita tukarkan dia kepada skor z. 
25 tolak 25.512 uh, tolak dengan mu bagi dengan sigma. Okay, from table. Okay, ini awak kena cari dalam table. Cari 0.3594. Okay, ini yang tadi saya kata baca daripada dalam. Okay, cari dalam table 0.3594. Awak akan dapati Z dia adalah 0.36. Since kita baca dalam table, dia adalah kawasan greater than. Ya, greater than. Okey, yang ni. 0.3594. Z dia adalah 0.3 tambah 0.06. Okey, ni adalah uh, 0.36. Greater than. Nah, nilai ni adalah kurang daripada, kalau perhatikan, kurang daripada 0.5. So, bila dia kurang daripada 0.5, greater than. So, pastinya kawasannya di sebelah sini. Kemudian, kita compare nilai ini dan nilai ini. Jadikan satu persamaan. Okey, jadikan dia uh, seperti ini 25.512 minus mu equal to 0.36 sigma. Let as a first equation. Okey, next um, uh, information. Kita tolakkan 16.104 tolak mu over sigma. Dan nilai probability dia adalah 0.0301. Okay, ingat eh, ini adalah less than. So, less than from the table is negative 1.88. Okay, look this table. Find the 0.0301. So, ni ya, 0.0301. So, kita dapat 1.8 tambah 0.08. So, kita dapat 1.1. 8. Ok, yang ini kenapa dia less than? Ah, sebab nilai dia kurang daripada Ok, nilai dia kurang daripada 0.5 Ok, macam ni Ok, disebabkan nilai dia adalah uh, kurang daripada 0.5 dan kawasan kurang daripada Jadi, nombor uh, Z adalah nombor negatif Dekat sini adalah negatif number. So, itu sebab kita letak negatif 1.88. Kita compare. Okay, kita compare kan jawapan uh, yang ini dengan yang ini. Kita compare. Dapatkan satu persamaan macam ni. Jadikan dia satu sehingga persamaan macam ni. Uh, dapatkan persamaan yang kedua. Okay, kemudian kita tolak persamaan 1, tolak persamaan 2 untuk hapuskan mu. Dan kita dapat jawapan sigma dia adalah 4.2 dan mu dia adalah 24. Jadi kita boleh tulis seperti ini. Okay, so kita dapat min dan juga variance. Lah. Ya? Uh, ingat eh, ini adalah sigma ni adalah uh, standard deviation saja 4.2 so kalau untuk dapatkan variance awak kena letak kuasa 2 ok example 9 a random variable has a normal distribution with standard deviation 10 find its mean if the probability that it will make uh, will take on the value more than 77.5 is 0 0.1736 okay, kita tulis dulu okey kenapa dia dekat sini 100 sebab standard deviation awak adalah 10 variance adalah sigma square variance adalah sigma square So, 10 kuasa 2, 100. Kusin adalah 100. 
Okay, find the probability x greater than uh, more than 77.5 and the probability is 0 0.1736. Okay, this area greater than 77.5. A change into z score. Okay, like this. So from table, find uh, from the table, uh, find the 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.1736, and we have the score Z is 0 0.94. Compare the value and find the mu. Okay, exercise 2.2, uh, sorry, 22. Uh, if x distribute normal with mean and sigma square, uh, we don't know the value of mean and sigma square, we have to find the, this value. from uh, By using this information, probability x greater than 12 is 0 0.3, probability x less than 6 is 0 0.4, find the value of uh, mu and sigma. Okay, we start with probability x greater than 12 equal to 0 0.3. Okay, this one, the area greater than. Awal kita lorik dekat sini sebab dia kata greater than. Jadi, kita lorik kawasan greater than dan nilai dia equivalent dengan 0.3. Okay, change to a z score. And then compare this one. Okay, from the table, awak cari 0.3. Then awak akan dapat Z dia adalah 0.524. And then kita compare jawapan ni dengan jawapan ni. Okay, compare dan dapatkan satu persamaan. Okay, like this. Okay, next use the second information, x less than 6 equal to 0 0.4. Change into z score. Okay, like this and read the table. Okay, this one, greater than, eh? greater than 6 minus mu over sigma and nilai dia adalah 0.4. Ni 0.4 greater than di mana? Okay. From the table, 0 0.4 is 0 0.253. Comparing. Okay, kita tolak satu tolak persamaan dua. And then, kita boleh dapat sigma is 0, uh, 7.722. Okay, gantikan dalam mana-mana persamaan untuk dapatkan mu. Mu is 12 point, uh, 12, uh, 12 minus 4.046. We have mu is 7.954. Okay. Next is exercise 2.3. In a company, the wages of a certain grade of staff are normally distributed with a standard deviation of 400. If 20.05% of staff earn less than 300 a week, what is the average wage? Okay, average adalah mean. So, dia suruh cari berapakah nilai mu. Okay, let x be the wages of staff and x distribute. Uh, normal with mean, we don't know the mean and given standard deviation is 400. So, variance is 400 square. 
Okay, let x is less than 300 equal to 0 0.2004. Okay, change to z score. Okay, 300 minus mu over 400. Okay, this one is less than, eh? less than 0 0.2005. Okay, baca dalam table yang ini. Kita baca dalam table. Kita cari. So, akan dapat Z dia adalah 0.84. Okay, therefore Z is less than negative 0.84. Ah, macam mana boleh cari negatif? Kita lukis dulu yang ini. Dia kata probability Z is less than. Okay, kalau less than, dia ada tadi ada dua keadaan eh. Less than, so zero. Zero. Okay, let's say dekat sini A, sini A. Okay, less than, maybe like this. Or maybe like this. Okay, tetapi dekat sini nilai dia adalah kurang daripada kurang daripada 0.5. So, bila dia kurang daripada 0.5, yang ni tidak valid. So, kita guna yang ni. Disebabkan dia adalah uh, graf ini, jadi nilai Z awak adalah negatif. Negatif 0.84. Okay, sebab dia adalah negative integer dekat sini. Ha, negative number. So, the negative number here. Okay, kita compare. Kita dapatkan mu. Mu adalah 636. Bermaksud X awak distribute uh, normal. Min adalah 636. Min awak adalah Enam, tiga, enam, um, 400 square. Okay, B, what the percentage of staff earn more than 500 ringgit a week? So, change into Z score. We have Z greater than negative 0 0.34. So, uh, kita gunakan 1 minus probability Z greater than negative uh, 0 0.34. Okay, like this. Okay, yang ini adalah, okay, mungkin ada yang tak nampak. Dia kata greater than 0. negative 0. 0.34. Negative. So, 0. negative 0. 0.34. Greater than here. So, kita ambil satu. The whole probability tolak kawasan yang tidak berlorik ni adalah kawasan uh, greater than sorry, less than kawasan ni adalah less than uh, negative 0 0.34 dan kita tahu kawasan ni adalah Okay, sorry, this one is positive. Eh? Kita tahu probability of probability of Z less than uh, Z, negative 0 0.34 is equivalent to probability Z greater than 0 0.34. So, we have 
the probability is 0 0.6331 to find the percentage with uh, multiply with 100%. So we have 63.31%.